Yo, what is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. And today we're doing a little bit of a different video. We're doing more of a creative one, just a, a fun one instead of a informational support video, gameplay, whatever it is. Today is going to be a guardian building video. I'm going to be making a guardian based off the kits of the other gods already in the game. And I'm only going to be doing guardians. And we're going to just try to make the best guardian kit possible and one that I think will be really fun to play. Before we do jump into the entire rest of the video, I just want to talk about my other social medias and just kind of what I do on them. We got Twitch where we just do daily morning streams. I interact with you guys. We talk about video games. We talk about Smite. You can ask me anything you want. Twitter, I kind of post my thoughts on games and just about anything, whatever I'm thinking. Instagram, I kind of just have it for photos, videos, and just life stuff. Maybe pictures of me at the gym where I'm looking beefy or anything like that. It's Discord. And this is where just everything kind of comes together. The community interacts. It's where I let you know when YouTube videos are live when I'm live on Twitch. Lastly, the Nexus store will be in the description also, but if you have any skins that you're interested in and you wanna support me, you can buy those gems. I also think I have some games on there that I find fun, that maybe you guys find fun. You can buy them on there also. So check that out, enjoy the video. We're gonna go over a couple rules because one, I don't wanna have just like nine Yamoja abilities because she's almost a perfect god already. So we are limiting it to only one ability per god. So if I choose Kumba's passive because you know it's so OP and it just wanna land, I can't choose this one, two, three, or ultimate. Second rule is Yamoja's passive is banned because Omi as a passive is absolutely bonkers being able to spam abilities. And starting off with a passive, I decided to go with Ymir's passive because it gives you increased damage dealt on your auto attacks and it reduces damage that you take when you hit them with a damage ability. This gives them early lane pressure. It gives them good mid game, good late game because you're reducing their damage. And it just makes them a really good all around character where you can be played defensive or aggressive. A couple others I was thinking about were Cab, but this is really just defensive, 5% reduced damage, and it's for your team also. It's not bad, but it's just what Ymir's is, except a little bit weaker. And I guess it, it helps your teammates as opposed to Ymir's is just your auto attacks for yourself. Another one I was looking at was Fafnir because being able to farm and just getting a ton of gold into your hand is super important. It also gives you just magical and physical props at all points of the game, as long as you have a little bit of gold in your hand, which makes it very hard to kill in the laning phase. And you'll just end up with more items than the enemy. Lastly, for passive, I was looking at Kuzumbo. This is just mitigation. It's basically cabs, but it's selfish and it's better. So this is a, if I wanted just a full dive guardian, this is kind of the perfect ability for it. But I didn't really want to go with a full dive guardian. I wanted a guardian that was a little bit more defensive because I think that would be a little bit more fun. So passive Ymir, we're going with the one. We're choosing Kabraken. It's not the best ability ever, but it would interact with Ymir's passive pretty well, where if I use one of my other abilities first, and then use my one. It does an extra 100% damage because of how Ymir Frostbite works. So it's kind of like a pretty cool combo. And then it also stuns. It makes me root immune, slow immune. I just thought it was a pretty good pairing with Ymir. A couple other ones that I was looking at were Kepri. It's just a really good pull. It's safety. It's good CC. Sets up like kind of the rest of your kit and for your team. Xing Chen. If I was going to choose a dive guardian, Xing's one is just perfect. It's a lot of damage and it's auto attack reduction, which is just so OP in the late game. I just didn't think it would pair very well with the kit because I'm going to be doing more defensive. So that's why I didn't go with Xing Chen. And then Ymir's one. The wall is OP. I just couldn't choose it because I already chose Ymir passive. Maybe I built a different passive. Ymir's one would have fit perfectly. And now for the two. For this one, we're going to talk about some of the other ones that I was planning on choosing and then why I chose this actual two last. Ganesh two. It's a very strong ability, but it's very one dimensional. Silencing the enemy team. It's only one way really you can't help your team with CC or anything while this is active. You're just stopping the enemy who is diving and then you're giving them a few prots. It's a good ability, but I didn't think it fit as well with the kit. And then Sylvanas too. You can never go wrong with sustain, right? Getting an extra 30 prots, healing, a little bit of damage. It would be perfect for a lot of characters, but I thought this ability was just slightly better. Also, another shout out quick to Ares 2. It's kind of like Sylv 2, except a little bit more protections and CCR and less healing. We ended up going with Kepri 2. Kepri 2 is both played defensively and offensively, where you can blow up the character you're hitting with it, or you can peel your teammate with it. It's perfect. You can set up with Kabrakan Stun into Kepri 2 to execute the guy that you're going on or you can play it just to CC somebody and peel for your teammate at the same time. Kepri 2 is one of the best base guardian abilities because of just how much it helps your team survive. And so that's why I went with Kepri's 2. For the third ability, there was only a couple that I was really thinking of. I was trying to consider if I wanted a dash or if I was just fine with one semi survivability at one. I ended up going with Yamoja 3, which is 
kind of like a dash, but also kind of just like a controlling ability. I don't know what kind of cooldown you'd put on it. I'd say like, I don't know, four or five, six seconds or something like that. So it's not something you can really spam because you don't have the Omi anymore. But assuming it's at least a semi low cooldown and not 35 second cooldown, I would choose the Emojis 3. This would then allow you to lock in the enemy team or survivability for yourself. It's very good for offensive and defenses. Defensive, which is kind of what I like this kit to be. Be able to play it like offensive, defensive, somewhere in between. I think that is really cool with Guardians when you can kind of choose what you want to do with it. And uh, Yamoja 3 is basically just that. Magical physical protections. It pairs well with Kepri 2 also because you can 3 them back into you and then 2 them and then stun them or 3 them, stun them, and then 2 them. Whatever the combo is. But that, I think Yamoja 3 fits it very well. Uh, I love Silv 3. It's probably one of my... It's not the best, but it's one of my favorite abilities in the game just because a, a Silv pull is gotta be the most satisfying ability in smite to hit nothing feels better than nature's grasping them across the map and pulling them into their certain death it's great i love it i love it so much and then i was looking at Xing chen 3 it's just a lot of survivability it wastes a lot of time it gives you a little bit of protections for surviving and it, it's just a great ability all around for surviving and i was trying to decide if i needed that survivability or if i'd prefer emojis just unrealness of that three and then for the ultimate this is where it kind of got difficult because there are so many abilities to choose that are just insane for supports you got Ares, who's going to be able to pull in the enemy team atlas for the giant reduction and power reduction and damage and the gamma bursts across the map love that another one i was thinking about is earth and fury healing damage heal over time all you need is the four procs it also gives five percent damage mitigation and then five percent more damage for the enemy honestly could have seen myself going with it but also shout out to the Emoja ult. If I didn't choose her three, her ult would definitely have been there. The only reason I preferred this other ultimate is because of the cooldown. 140 seconds, it's getting up there. It kind of combos with the rest of her kit very well still, but if you don't have the rest of this kit and the Omi, it's not as great. So we ended up going with Ganesh ult. Yes! yes! Come to Papa! It's a 75 second cooldown damage prot reduction. And I just figured it would pair very, very well with this kit. So we have Ymir passive to make the team do less damage and also make your autos attack do more. You have cab one for a stun for a little bit of movement ability, slow immunity, root immunity. And then we have Kepri two for the offensive defensive ways, Yamoja three for offensive defensive. And then we have Ganesh. We can almost one shot with this entire kit now. We toss Kepri two out. We then Ganesh ult. So we're reducing their prots by 55. We're reducing their prots by 25%. So we'd wanna we'd wanna two them first, and then maybe Yamoja three to kick them back into a position. And then we toss the Ganesh ult down. This procs the Emir ult, so my auto attack does extra damage, and then we stun them. That's gotta be a whole lot of damage. There's also a ton of peeling in the kit with Kepri. We have Yamoja three for peeling also. All around, I think the kit would be super fun. And the god would be named Yamabra. Prepri Yoja Nesha. That is the entire kit I created. Let me know if you guys have a different kit that you would enjoy to play. I think the defensive gods are super fun, but if you guys have any offensive ones that would be really fun, a lot more damage, maybe some one-shot potential, let me know. Post your gods in the comments below. We'll see you next time.